not magical. He gets all four last hits. And Zephyr, he's looking for the curse right, himself. himself. And he's going to get it. Radiant and is the chance. Oh, 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 it's beautiful. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. I've never seen that before. Both <laughs> sides losing their couriers in perfect harmony. A win for the teams and a loss for the animals. Set up for success. Oh, top lane. Good bit of harass here. On to Crystallize. Light Strike won't catch him, though. Just fast enough to keep the distance. And with the sail popped, he'll be back up to full. And in fact, down bottom, oh. Zephyr, he tried to come across to disrupt this from Blizzy, but Blizzy ends up getting the getting the whole wave and the first blood. He's salving up as well, so it'd be good to stay down here. You can't afford to just hand a, hand a free first blood kill to an axe that's cut in the creep wave. He has He's nearly a level hood. five. He has a hood coming out on the courier. No, he does. He has a full hood on the courier. Uh, Jay, you mean a cloak, right? No, it's, it's a full hood. Oh my goodness. It's three minutes in. Three hard minutes in! He's level five with a hood top lane! At least Tigers may be able to find themselves some positivities. They'll take down Crystallize, but 4037s have to die for the tower for it. So he'll die. Choose and Moon might go down too. Choose still got the combo. He's got the avalanche, a toss back as well, and the moon, fire blast, trying his best to run away, but crystallized back in the lane, won't look to commit, oh. homing missile still on cooldown for 8 seconds, so moon will be fine, but oh my goodness, blizzy, massive, absolutely massive. Hood at three and a half minutes in, that's unheard of. He is uncontested. Yeah, this, this axe has got the potential to entirely take over the game. Navi. 2k gold lead. Crystallize. Oh, they got the light strike. And point in Archid as well. Crystallize does get the cooldown off and choose that with the back of Crystallize. Should still fall for sure, and he does, but not before Navi get two kills in return. Double kill for Chu. Good burst of gold for him. Blizzy. A few more creeps. The blink dagger's already on its way out. Pretty crazy. And he's already looking to make a move. They're not gonna quite expect this. They're not gonna expect the nine-minute blink dagger hood axe. No one does. There's Arjit, two oh, tanky. Two. It's a bit of a bait there. there the control, is. the avalanche into the blink. They get the two-man call, and it's two quick kills. And look at that, respect from Blizzy as well. Letting Crystallize take the kill on Moon. Doesn't go for the secondary dunk. He says Majara needs the gold. He's going to get it. I'm a bro. And where did the Radiant Courier go? Did it die during that? The Courier died. They're still hunting on this top lane, the three of them. Radiance middle tower is now it's spotted, and look at Blizzy. They're just collapsing in immediately. Navi. They know this is a fight they can take, and look who's there. Blizzy straight in, two-man call. All the setup in the world that Na'Vi need to easily get those two kills. He's got a full pipe now on top two. As they, they're going to just keep pushing all these side waves in, and Tiger is just still unable to really find positions to get outside the base every time they do. That happens. And they tip him. They've tried it twice against Na'Vi. It has not worked. It's just not successful. Sure, this game, it was a little better, a little better. than game one. But uh, it, it wasn't really a lane that would transition into a way that was going to be able to address the issues elsewhere on the map. It's Blizzy making the lead and making the call happen as they catch out Zephyr once more. Magical jumps in with the Melt Strike to bring down the Wyvern. And Rocket hits the Lena. Oh, and he's dead. commits. He is dead. He's got a buyback. There'll be a buyback straight away. Hand of God comes out from Na'Vi. They start to back off a little bit, but Blizzy! Blizzy? Oh, he's in again! The two-man call, setting things up, but he is getting punished. Laguna Blade comes down onto him. Blizzy may fall. Can they get he's trying to back off, but he'll die. They get the big kill onto the axe. Can they get anything more, though, Moon? Trying to push them away, but they've already taken the range racks in the middle lane. As Na'Vi will not get the melee racks for now. The biggest kill we've seen for Tiger so far this game, and Magical, which ready to go back in, jumps in onto Moon. Moon is dead, dead for 35. They've got the combo onto the Ember as well. That's two dead without buyback. The Winter's Curse could cause that man to die, but not Magical. He'll stay alive. The BKP in the mail's there. Sentry's going to be dropped down against the Blink off as well. Oh to destroy the right click from Arjun. Magical will survive. And they're back in. Desolator striking into this Rex. Melee racks will be claimed. He's still keeping his Aegis alive, 40 HP. Yeah, this is a team that can absolutely give the other people in the Major a run for their money. It's not, you know, if they can continue to just perform like this in the Grand Finals of a Minor, they're going to scale well at the Major. Yeah, definitely Tiger's going to have to go back to the drawing board, try to figure out something, something to do versus different. this Navi. Yeah, you can't, as I say, let him have that axe, Blizzy. Just go so far ahead. He was set up for one of the easiest games he's had at Atlanta. As he has been so enormously massive 
There's nothing the Tigers can do about him. There's nothing the Tigers can do about the team as a whole. It's 25 to 6, only 23 minutes into this game. As Na'Vi look to take a second set of rags. They're ready to die for kills if Tigers want to continue to find again Blitzy. He's in with the control onto RJ. Do they have the damage to kill him off in time? Cold Embrace will be there. Protecting RJ for now. They'll turn their attention towards Zephyr. for RJ. Will get himself back towards the base. There's four dead on Tigers, none with buyback. They'll be back up in about 10 seconds, three of them, but not before a second set of racks is taken from them. You have to imagine they're just talking about the next game now. This game is absolutely out of the bag. There's no way that you can come back in this unless Navi does some fountain diving several times. You, yeah, they, they just have to go back to the drawing board, and I think they have to consider this axe ban and maybe change up their opener a little bit. It's just been an absolute treat of, for Navi fans in particular. To do it sort of two games in, row, in a row with a gyro, with the gyro without the eye. Yeah. At the start of the day, again, in the interview with Blizzy, he said they're just going to turn up and play their game, play their strategy. They're certainly doing that here. Absolutely. Just by picking this gyro, something that we hadn't seen from them yet, and showing us how well it can work even when the lane gets crushed. As GG is called, game three goes to Na'Vi as they now lead two to one in this best of five grand finals at the minor. One game away for them from securing a position at the major.